Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex Quick Look at the Euro versus U.S. Dollars. We head into the U.S. Jobs Report. Quickly, the expectations are for around 225,000. That's versus 339,000 last month. The unemployment rate is expected to come in at 3.6%. That compares to 3.7% last month. Average error. Hourly earnings are expected to rise by 0.3% uh, versus 0.3% last month and 4.2% year on year versus 4.3% last year. So, or last month. So that is the uh, forecast uh, for the uh, U.S. Uh, data. Now, what are the technicals saying for the euro versus U.S. dollar? Well, as reported in uh, yesterday's uh, late report on the euro versus U.S. dollar, what is uh, key here <laughs> technically is this uh, green line. This green line represents the 200 hour moving average and true to its resistance that we've seen over the last few trading days since this week the price high came up and tested it and rotated to the downside came up and tested it and uh, rotated marginally to the downside here we are trading uh, just above the 100 hour moving average currently at 1.0884 uh, the current price trend 1.0888 and we're, we're below that 200 hour moving average 1.08977 Guess what? If the price were to move above the 200-hour moving average, the bias would uh, turn more bullish here just simply because we've been using that level as resistance over the last few days. So we move above it, that tells the bias more to the upside. We look for more momentum to the upside. And the next uh, targets would come against these highs uh, going back to uh, last uh, uh, Monday and Friday uh, right here at the uh, 1.09329 level. Uh, get above that level and opens the door for further upside momentum toward this swing area up at 1.09618 to 759. Now on the downside, if the price uh, should move lower because of a stronger stronger d uh, data, uh, the 38.2% uh, retracement held support in trading today. That's how the move uh, up from the uh, end of May low to the high price that we saw saw uh, here uh, in the uh, around the June 22nd date. Uh, the, 38.2 comes in at 1.867, move below that level, and we start to look toward this swing area through here where we had uh, a number of uh, different uh, swing highs through here with a peak above there. And then we found support uh, through here with a peak below there, and then we reestablished support here. It's kind of messy. In fact, the, the, um, uh, the, the range might also extend down to this area through here where we had the uh, swing, swing low uh, from last week. Uh, matched with the swing lows from this week one and two in trading yesterday before the market moved higher so um, uh, that that level down to 108.34 and then we get to the 100 day moving average with 50 percent retracement so all this area right through here between 1.08229 and 1.08344 um, is going to be a level that if the market should get below uh, these air er this area right through here uh, then uh, it would open the door for further downside uh, momentum for this uh, currency pair. So um, we're trading near the highs right here, uh, but the 200-hour moving average continues to be a lid on this up here. And on the downside, we know about the uh, lows from yesterday. We know about the 100-day moving average. We know about the 50% retracement level. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.